hello uh, and welcome I'm patchy okay so I've been into junk journaling now for about six months and I've made one journal but I've made lots of covers and when I say covers I just mean I've gotten hardcover books and I've wrapped them up with calico or cheesecloth or whatever that you know that that cloth is um, that you do like padding and stuff like that I haven't made a great deal of covers I've made uh, one that I've almost finished which is this one um, and I'm currently making another one but I tend to get stuck on things because I'm scared I'm gonna mess them up or or worry about doing it wrong or you know all that and all that hard work goes down the drain like I know the whole thing with junk journaling is just to do it no matter what happens and how it turns out but today I've just sent a video by Pam at the paper outpost and I really liked the color like the collage fabrics the stick this here and everywhere and all that kind of thing so I'm actually going to give that a go today on camera I can't say it's going to be good I can't say it's going to be A's it might even might even be really bad but you know what I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to give it a go on camera to, to put out there that somebody has to start somewhere and who knows it let's just see where it goes okay so I just covered this one so I got this I don't know this um, piece of cotton it's very thin from um, an op shop or a thrift shop or wherever you or whatever you call them from wherever you're from so I've just actually put it in it was actually quite old it's got a few tears and stuff in there um, I've used fabric fabric glue these two here um, I don't actually trust any other glues uh, to work I guess um, so I've got a whole bunch of different materials here like and if anyone is out there that is like me you love thrifting you love finding stuff you love getting the old books and you love getting the lace and finding a doily and a pillowcase with a floral pattern on it and you love all that stuff but you sort of buy and go shopping for it more than you actually craft so that's kind of what I'm like if you're out there and you're like me please let me know because it's nice to know that I wouldn't be alone um, but I do sit and watch hours of videos while I'm sitting here you know sorting out my craft room fiddling and faffing about and I'm not really doing a, a great deal of things anyway so let's get on with it okay so as I said I've got this here I've got this here I've got my fabric got my scissors let's see if we can do some sort of collage I'm doing this for the first time I haven't done this thing before um, and who knows I'm not even sure I've got the right sort of fabrics here but we're gonna give it a go so I'm even afraid to start <laughs> oh, um, I don't really know all right let's just let's just cut some squares and and do it so I've got some old curtain here I'm just gonna cut some of this off and we're just gonna, I'm gonna tuck this down with some glue let's just hope for the best now what I do like what I do know that I do like is I'm not a big fan of like the edging of fabrics sitting on the side like that I like them to actually go around like so Ta-da! I put my first bit down how exciting yes this is actually very exciting I quite like this I think it's an A I quite like this A here um, so I think I'll just I don't know I'm not sure keep it not keep it I don't know my name doesn't begin with A maybe we can show some of it through it's pretty much just to get the background happening I suppose I'm not sure I like this already. 
I've got heaps of stuff like I wish I could move my camera and show you like all this different stuff I have I I do have a lot of this stuff um, sometimes I feel it's like oh how could I cut that up and use it or you know how can I destroy it and you know cut it up and you know all that kind of thing but you know what you just have to sometimes you buy all this lovely stuff and you know it's not going to go anywhere or do anything or make anyone feel good by sitting in the drawer under everything else you've got in, sitting in there I'm not sure maybe that way I'll do the whole lot. I don't know if anyone else has done videos like this where they've just, you know, done a whole bunch of stuff where they've just stuck, stuck some stuff down, you know. I need some just cottony stuff, plain. I have so much stuff here. It's like I want to use this, all this stuff as well, you know. different textures and colors and you know not just white and stuff it's actually kind of feels good to do some filming my husband and I share our work area so during the week I don't really get to do videos so I'm actually happy that I have opportunity right now to uh, have a go and do this and talk to you and take you through the process while I do it which is kind of exciting that's my fabrics all just falling out I'm just looking for stuff in my really like this I'm just going to cut a bit of this off I actually want to make a full cover out of this particular fabric I have now looks like maybe a curtain or some sort of fabric um not really planning too much I'm kind of feel like I'm rushing a little bit because obviously you don't want to have people just you know sitting there watching nothing while you look for materials and stuff like I have actually grabbed some materials ready to go to look nice you know yeah so like today is Sunday and hubby is taking our dog to dog obedience school and my girls are watching TV so I've kind of grabbed this opportunity to to make a video I might like having some of that show through as much as I like this glue it's really good it's quite painful to use and stringy I don't know yeah this is <laughs> I don't know why does it look like a kindergarten person has done this <laughs> I'm not sure maybe I'm using the wrong materials I don't know 
Maybe sewing would have been better. I'm not sure. I do want to put coffee stained pages in this uh, because that's what I have. I've actually made some of those. it's actually quite good to use it you can spread out or you can leave it a bit chunky which is you know kind of good I need some bony colour something or other Hmm. See, now I'm starting to get a bit stuck. Do I like what I'm doing? Hmm. Not really sure. Not quite happy yet, if ever. footsteps okay I lost my audio after my daughter came in uh, so here I am just going to quickly go and do a voiceover uh, to finish the rest of the video off so as you can see I'm placing um, the doily in different areas trying to work out uh, where it's going to sit the best um, yeah so as you, as you can see the doily does, <laughs> doesn't really look good anywhere so uh, getting some more fabric I think what I'm using here is actually an old curtain um, and just cutting some off and I'll be getting it into frame in a minute there it is I have a lot of old curtain I've also purchased some old curtains as well from Spotlight uh, which is like a big craft place here um, yep so just doubling that over curtains can be quite sheer so just getting the glue out and sticking that up there um, I've got the upside down the upside down glue things I just use a glass to keep my glue in helps it come out quicker especially when it gets starts to get very tacky um, and also towards the end of the the bottle as well can also be a bit um, harder to get out instead of waiting around for the glue to fall to the bottom with the nozzle to come out so sticking that there in the corner I did have a little bit left over 
as well to, to swing around the cover so it tidies it up when I uh, like put it around the cover to the inside as well. So going back to that doily, putting it to the side again, <laughs> still not quite happy with uh, where that's going to go. <laughs> so this here I got that I'm cutting out, I bought that from a, I actually got that in a bag of just off cuts of lace or fabric or something like that and I was like oh, when I was going through it I was like oh do I keep it? And I was like yeah I'll keep it. I'm glad I did because it actually worked quite well here. Yeah. That little no embroidery is it? What do you call that? Yeah, it just fits up there nicely. I quite like that one as well. Another different shade of white as well in that as well there. So that looks good. I was so bummed I lost the audio to the video. Oh, I don't do videos very often but I've actually had a bit of a learning curve today and now I know how to do voiceovers so that's good so what sort of um if there is anybody watching out there what what uh, video editing software do you use because at the moment I'm what I'm working with Adobe Premiere Pro um, I did start with DaVinci but there seems to be a lot more help videos out there for uh, Premiere as well so yeah, I thought we'd stick with with this one. So we're getting there with the with the collaging. Sometimes I think it's um, how you're feeling on the day, what you're going to use. Um, yeah, so I'll th try that piece here. Now cut it in half. Now cut it too small. So now I'll try a different piece. I think I cut it too small again. Yeah, I cut it too thin this time. Let's try again. Third time lucky, eh? There we go. Yeah, that, um, I actually don't know what that material was. I've got a, I actually I have a lot of that one. Uh, I don't know if it's a curtain or if it is just material. Um, but I like it because it is actually quite thick. Um, might actually try coffee dyeing that at some stage as well because I do have so much. Yep, so trying to get the glue out and my head's in the way. I'm sure you all wanted to know what colour my hair was, so I thought I'd show you. Yep, had it the wrong way. So I turn it over and again I like hanging it over the edge there because that can actually wrap around wrap around the cover and we're bringing that doily back in yes we are we really want that to go on there don't we need to find that a place now I think we just did gluing part takes ages doesn't it? Yes it does. Dab 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 dab. might even fast forward to the end of this and just because yeah well it is sticking bits of material on there hoping for the best uh, like I said at the start um, 
So let me fast forward it and see what we can do. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have a finished product here, um, and it no longer looks like someone in kindergarten did it. Well, I don't think so. I'm quite happy with how it's turned out, um, all the different colours and things like that. Um, I'm just going to tuck those parts underneath in a minute, just to tidy it up. And there you go, so that's all been tidied up now. Um, you can see underneath there, been tidied up on the sides. Always looks quite good after that part. So I'm actually really happy with how that's actually turned out. So there you go, first time on camera doing something completely brand new and letting you all see me do it and yeah might try some buttons or something on this a bit later but needs a bit of something I think but you can do it I can do it we can all give it a go anyway thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed my video um, and maybe I'll see you next time thanks See ya!